Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Exilia. We're back here, very, very sad, somber day today. We're back here in Sheraton, and we need to go down the Tally's High Road to try to find our friends. At the fort where... No idea where it is, but I'm, I'm sure the path is fairly linear. I like the, uh... The shrubbery and small plants they have out here. Very barren, kind of. No, stay away from me. I just wanted to see where you were. This place is pretty big, actually. There's like some deserty vines over here I can climb up. Yep, yep. You're not gonna take me, Mr. Evil Walking Tree Man. I am too good for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Skeleton guy. Um, let's see. What's on the agenda for today? Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, hey there. Sly glasses. Let's take a look at those. Um. Trick anyone with laughing eyes drawn on them. Anyone looking at them will probably get really annoyed. Okay. Um, let's see. What was I going to say for today? Oh, yeah. I was asked if I plan on later doing a new game plus thing trying to do Mila's story the answer is maybe oh money I like money um the thing is is I want to do it like you know it seems like fun and I would like to do it but it's a huge project sort of because I basically I'm not liking this wind it's messing up my hair I'll come down you baby um it it's a huge project that has like low gain from it because I could either redo the story, but there'd be no point in redoing the entire story. I've already done it once. I mean, I, I wouldn't enjoy it that much. Not, not right away, anyway. And I don't think people watching it would enjoy it that much. So probably what I would end up doing would be... Uh, ooh, Hourglass, that's a good one. Um, it would probably be a thing where I showcased where the story split off from dudes, because there's points like, you know, there's points where they're together, and their story's not going to be any different. So, why re-show that, right? So, what I think I'll do is, ooh, hello tree. What I think I'll do is I'll end up, um, going back and showing you the things that are different from Mila's side of the story, if I were to do that. And, um, it would be a much more sporadic type thing, because not only would this be a back project, like a secondary project to my whatever series I'd currently be working on, it would also be a thing where I'd have to do a lot of off-screen playing. So, that, that's how that would work. Um, so it would probably be sporadic, like one to two episodes a week. So, the, the short answer to that is probably, I will probably end up doing that, but it may be a very slow and sporadic thing. So, instead of three to four episodes a week, it might be one to two. Maybe even less if I found myself doing something really, really busy that I just had no time for. So I hope that answers that question in a very, very long-winded kind of way. There are, like, holes all over this canyon. Though I don't mind. They always seem to contain really good stuff. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. I like it. It kind of makes everyone do less damage, but it can sort of slow down the battle enough for you to get a, a grip on what's going on if you're getting absolutely demolished. Because instead of taking major damage, you'll just be taking minor damage. Now, you can only inflict minor damage, but it's how to keep the, the game even, I suppose. Stay away from me, Tweety Birds. I don't want to fight you. For being a huge canyon, there's not that much stuff here, honestly. I thought there'd be a bit more than this. Though I'm not complaining, I have like 4,000 more gold than I did five minutes ago. Which is always good, because I have to buy new stuff. I still need to buy weapons. I haven't even gotten into many weapons for anyone yet.
There's like so much money to spend in this game because they don't limit you as much. Oh, wow, that's a that's a heck of a fort. Those like anti-air guns you've got on that thing? Wow. Sneaking so into this, this might be a Fort little Gandala. harder than I thought. It looks like a steel castle. It was built to protect the trade routes, ostensibly anyway. But now it would seem they have abandoned all pretense. So, how do we get in touch with your man on the inside? Follow me. Sure is convenient there was a nice break in the gate, Dude, uh, break in the gate over there for us. I need you to climb us. into that shaft. Tap on the wall once, twice, and then twice again. If you hear three taps followed by one, that means everything is ready. What if we hear, like, more taps? Does that mean everything's not ready? Yeah. I got the go, go sign. Go, go sign. Good. Let's proceed. Also, another thing I was wondering, while we were out in that desert, and even out here, there's like this huge blue glow. Is, is that, does that happen like normally? Like everywhere and I just didn't notice it, or is it just here that there's a blue glow? Good work. You have my gratitude. And Around the edge of the, of the screen. Lord Klein. Everyone in the fortress has heard what happened in Sherilton. It's hard for any of us to come to grips with this. I'd offer my shoulder to cry on, but we're kinda in a hurry here. What's going on inside, the short version? Uh, of course. Lady Dressel and the others are locked in a cell on the second floor. But that's not the worst of it. All the prisoners have had their legs bound with hex shackles. And those are? If anyone wearing one of those shackles steps across a hex zone like the one over there, then it's designed to explode. Ooh, okay. Um, how do we unlock them? What? So even if we free them from their cells, they won't be able to escape until we can disable those shackles. It would take far too long to track down the keyholder. I suggest we seize the fortress's control room instead. Then we can deactivate the whole security system. We've been unable to pin down the control room's location. I'm sorry. Don't worry. We'll figure the rest out. You've been a huge help. Not so to I put guess the we're doing a little horse, exploring. We should make sure we have a way out of here. Would you see to our escape plan? Yes, sir. We'll commandeer a carriage. Here, you'll need this key. It allows you to operate the elevators. Okay. So we got an elevator key. These guys look like our friends. That guy might be selling something. We got a chest. Sure, I like Milan's shells. Okay, we can exit out that way, but we don't want to. So is the blue glow supposed to be like heat, or what? what is that? Or has that always been there and I just haven't noticed? I feel like I would have noticed. If you talk to that guy over there, he can get you any supplies you need. Not for free, of course. Of course not. It's not like we're trying to save the world. Okay, we're selling a lot of stuff. Um, I don't think we need much. Okay, let's just take a look. I mean, getting weapons would be nice. A Stormbringer. How much? Ooh, that brings us physical attack up a lot. Let's buy him that. Hope we didn't need that for anything. Of course, then again, I don't think we can do any kind of synthesis or anything here, so it's not like we would. Ooh. Those look even better. Uh, but we're, we're kind of out of money. Not that we need much, anyway. We're, I think we'll be okay regardless. Uh, okay, save point. That's a... B1 to 1F. Okay, so we can walk across that just fine. Okay. Currently, we're the ones assigned to guard the fort's central passage. 
It should be safe for now, but if you run into any trouble, come back and let us know. Okay. It's B1 to 1F. Okay, so it's the same place. Where does this hex... Do we need to go back here? Fort Gondola has a lot of locked rooms, and there's no easy way to get through them. Finding your friends might prove difficult, but I wish you the best of luck. Okay, control room one. Sealed shut. Okay. Can't go in there. Shiny. Sure, you just leave some gold dust lying around. Control room, uh, it's sealed shut. I have a feeling a lot of these might be sealed shut. Are you an enemy? No, you're not. Okay, cool. The fort has four symmetrical floors surrounding a large central passage. Be careful not to get lost. How would a butler possibly know that? Oh. Just who are you? Like I said, I assume through uh, through character progression and story and stuff, we will learn. Let's grab that. Ooh, money. I like money. I'll safeguard this carriage until you need it to get back. Incidentally, there's a room through this door that only high-level officers can enter. Only a few people have been given keys, so we haven't been able to get our hands on one. Okay. That's to the same place. Okay. That's the same place. Okay. Uh, well, let's... If it all goes to the same place, let's just go. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're an enemy. We'll fight you. Spirit Corpse and Blade Corpse. <laughs> These guys are going down easy. The name's Alvin. And don't you forget it. Like, there's almost no challenge with how easy these people are going down. Okay, warehouse one. Any goodies in here, perhaps? Oh, oh. I don't know how to get around there, but there's definitely something going on over there. There's a chest there. We need to figure out how to get there later. What is that? Current location, north lower level 1F. Okay, what is that? Can I use the elevator? Do I want to? Oh, okay, so this is the elevator. There's four floors. Random bag of loot. Someone just left some down in here, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, control room sealed shut. Oh, you guys have implored, uh, implored, employed boars with shields on your face? Or on their face? Oh, I love Sharp Kern. It looks so cool. Man, are we good or what? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, let's see. This leads to Central Passage. Sealed shut. Okay, can't go that way. Are those like holding cells or what are those? Definitely some chests down there, so we should investigate that later. Chest over here. Oh, that wasn't behind me. <laughs> Don't die on us, Rowan. Oops, I missed it again, dang it. And dang it, I missed it again. Not that I needed any more there, but it's the one thing that's the one thing I'm trying to work on more is uh, being able to actually land those uh, chain chances. French toast. Mm, you guys probably need a little food, right? Go eat some, uh... Go eat some... Yakisoba noodles. I think I might have eaten those once. I don't think I liked them. But it might have just been something that was in them. I don't know if I actually didn't like the noodles or not. Ow! Can't dodge around here. Alright! 
Yep, yep, just take down all the blade users. And finished. Ding, dinner's done. Jude just takes a step sideways because he's so cool. Alright, what can we upgrade now? We gotta upgrade this one, so let's put some points into agility, I suppose. These outer Lilium Orb ones are like painful to, to do because they've got so many spots to them. Though, can't complain too much. Is there not anything over here? No, nope. okay. Well, I guess we're taking the elevator then. Wait, would this be the floor below us? Let's go down a floor. Ah, okay, I see. Yep, let's go to lower B1. Huh? There's a man over here. I wonder if somebody with the hex thing could just, like, sneak through between the hex things. I doubt I'd want to try because I personally hate to explode. Wait, wait, okay, let me... Let me take a second to think. He's got Breaker. These guys have shields. Does that mean he's going to break their defense? Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. That's nice. That's nice. That is nice. So make sure to use him whenever I'm fighting shielded enemies or enemies with high defense, I suppose. Mostly shielded enemies, I imagine. Or no, no, these might... Oh, these are cannons. They're not, like, holding containers. Because this place is heavily fortified, if you remember, from the outside. Had, like, a multitude of cannons going on. Okay, treasure chest. What do you have in you? Black feathers? I like black feathers. As a whole, though, it doesn't seem like there's anything of use down here. Unless I missed a doorway. I'm looking on the map, I don't see any. Wait. There's one down here. This one right here, okay. We have a warehouse. Oh, this is the lower level of that same warehouse. But this one should have goodies. And it does, and it does. So what's inside you, Mr. Chest? All divide. I like all divides. All divides are cool. Alright, well, uh, we've already checked the second level, so let's go to the upper level, second floor. Oh, that's a nice little ding-dong they put in, that's funny. Okay, we've got a few doors in here we need to check out. I think they said the top floor was where our friends were. Creases. Ooh, that seems useful. Let's eat that. Intelligence. Intelligence is for magic, I believe, so let's give it to him. And yeah, yeah. Attack! Nope, don't attack. Don't attack. Okay, so we have a door here. Seems to be locked from the inside. Okay. There's one behind those boxes, but I can't reach that. But I assume we're gonna take a go around and get to it. It's also locked from the inside. There's crates blocking that. Can't grab their goodies, and I'm in battle now. <laughs> Oh man, we are beating this guy up. good or what? Um, yeah. Ouch, the cold shoulder. The cold shoulder, the old cold shoulder, in the in the creepy place with the big cannons and the and the death and the hexagons. Ooh, item. You grab that. Find down. I suppose that everyone can use some find down now, now and again. Okay, so nothing here. So I, I guess we need to go to the top floor if we want to do a bit more exploring. 
I'm assuming we can get into those locked rooms from the top floor, like we're gonna drop down on them or something like that. Insect wing. Huh? Nothing over there, so let's not go that way. There's a chest over here. I wonder if I can ninja around you. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. Goodness gracious, you guys have a lot of hexagony things. Wait, I see an open... Oh, wait, no. Because I'm a derp. Never mind. Don't worry about what I said. At all. Like, for reals, guys. Don't worry about it. It's like there's an open chest down there. I must have already been there. And it's because I, I was already there. Yep. That's your shield. You're not very strong, are you? Nice. Nope. I don't see why you're attacking me with your very low health you've got there. I can still do better. I can still do better. All right. Let's see if we can get in. Let's see if we can get into any of these rooms now. Let's start on this side. I'm assuming these actually will open and let me into the lower rooms. Oh, dang it. We're too healthy, guys. We've got too many health products. Nope, that one's locked as well. What about this one? Yep, I knew it. I knew it had to be unlocked. Because I'm so Looks smart. Looks like I can move this box. So it's like a random wire box for no reason. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the prompt goes away. Okay. Grab. That is an odd pushing animation. Like, look at him. Look how he pushes. Or how he pulls. He, he's got such a weird animation for that. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's go. Okay, dropping into the unknown. Whoa. It's okay. It's not like we wanted to stay up there or anything. There's an air vent there, I assume we'll need to investigate later. Unlock the door, which leads to the area below. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, what do I do from here? There's an air vent there, but is there a way to drop directly on that? No, there's not. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a derp. I didn't realize this was a lift over here. Apparently it is. Okay, ah, uh, here we go. This is what I needed. I needed another box was the thing I needed. Whoops, don't don't climb on box, jump off box. I don't feel bad about missing that one because I I didn't know this little floor grate thing was actually a lift. So yeah, I don't I don't feel bad about missing this one at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do now. I thought that was the path. Um, just lighting stuff. Ignore me. Uh, so we're going to push this box over here. Now we can go through that air vent and grab our treasure. Nope. Climb on the box. Climb on the box. Money. White puff balls. You know what does surprise me is a lot of the enemies in the game, when you defeat them, they seem to give you... Oh dear. I felt that in my back. <laughs> a lot of them seem to give you, um... They seem to give you life bottles, which is why I'm not having an issue running out of life bottles, because they keep giving them to me. Uh, huh. How do we get that off? I guess we can't. We could push it that way, but... Well, isn't that kind of dumb? Let's go up and see what's up here. Okay, see, I'm assuming we have to... Oh, where does this one go? <laughs> oh, I think we went the right way. The other way might have been for treasure. We'll do it later, don't worry. Here we go. <laughs> 
He definitely seems to be doing a lot better with that new sword he's got. Like, uh, he's doing a lot of damage. Because it's a pretty good upgrade. That soldier had a key on him. I believe it will grant us access to the control room. I thought you said hunting for keys was a waste of time. Life is full of surprises, mercenary. Lessons from a butler. Just what I needed. Okay, cool. Got the control room key. Uh, let's see. How about this? Um, next time we'll go back, crawl, and see if there was, like, something I missed from back there. But for now, we are out of time. So I think we should, uh, take our leave now. Oops. I believe it's this floor I need to go to to actually get to a save point. So I hope you guys enjoyed, as usual. And if you come back next time, we will play more Tales of Exilia and attempt to find our friends in the ongoing hope for victory and stuff. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!